Hey there! So in this video let's deal with these buttons. We need to disable this at start and enable it when we start recording. Then switch the list button to done button and one done. Disable this one and stop recording. So in the main activity let's set some listeners. First one on the list button. Set on click listener. This one does nothing for the moment. It will be the subject of a separate video. Then the done button. So this one stops the recorder and everything else will be done, will be dealt with in the next video. And finally the delete button on click listener. So this one should stop the recorder then delete the file so to delete it we we'll use the file class we'll give it the path for the file dear path then the file name and don't forget the extension dot mp3 dot mp3 actually now in the stop recorder we have some things to do here first one is to stop the timer that's done the second thing is to stop the recorder we will use our recorder variable and apply two things first one stop function or method and the second one is release now we need to initialize some variables like is paused return it to false is recording return it to false too then the buttons start with a list uh, and set visibility to visible copy paste this line and deal with the done button we should hide it now also the delete button disable it for now because there's nothing to delete we stopped everything and change the drawable to r dot drawable dot ic delete disabled okay copy this line and paste it here for the record button now the record buttons should be switched to IC record and of course we need to set the text view to the initial value TV timer dot text set it to double zero double zero dot double zero one last thing is to clear the waveform so let's add a, another function call it clear this one should return an R list of floats this is for the amplitudes so we need to clear the amplitudes and spikes and then call the invalidate function to force a redrawing and empty everything and then we need to return the current amplitudes but since we delete them we don't have them anymore so before we do that let's clone this arrow list into another variable and send the other variable so here actually we need to cast it as array list of float okay now in the main activity let's call waveform dot clear and store the result into amplitudes we don't have it yet so let's right click or alt enter and create property here and make sure it's late in it now we're done with the stop recorder let's add a little thing to the start recorder here so 
here we need to first enable the delete button dot is clickable set it to true and then switch the drawable here set delete and set IC delete another thing is to switch from the list button to the done button so button list uh, dot visibility set to view gone copy paste this line and change list to done and gone to visible okay in the on create here at the end of on create button or on create function call the delete button and set is clickable to false so make sure you call this line after the on set click listener otherwise this function will automatically enable is clickable so just for the fun of it let's add some toasts make text uh, give it the context and here the message would be record saved we have too many parentheses here gave it a length and show okay just copy this line and paste it here and also here change the text to list button for the list button and record deleted for the delete button let's see how it looks like so at start this one should show nothing and this one should show list button so if I start recording I have two buttons if I save it then record save it and everything initialized if I click here nothing if I start recording and delete it so everything is deleted and I have a message so that's it for this video and in the next one we will deal with the done button we'll show a dialogue activity to change the name before we save it see you then